Cuba's parliament, the National Assembly of People's Power, normally meets just twice a year in December and July. But President Raul Castro called it back for a special session on Thursday to ratify updates to the island's economic plans and reforms. Under Raul Castro, Cuba now has a mixed economy. The centrally controlled state sector dominates, but more than half a million Cubans are classed as self-employed. Their businesses, though, have no legal status, so they can't import, export or access wholesale goods, and there is growing pressure for change. We need a corporate law which would recognize private businesses as legal entities and call them companies and not self-employed. I'd like to have places where we could buy at wholesale prices the products we need to run this private restaurant. The National Assembly has unanimously approved the updated reforms or guidelines as they're called here. It's believed they contain recognition of small and medium-sized private enterprises, but so far no details have emerged of what the changes involve. What was given prominence on state television was President Castro's closing speech where he indicated that whatever the economic reforms, Cuba was not about to change politically. We reaffirm the socialist character of the Cuban Revolution and the role of the Communist Party as the superior guiding force of society and the state. Raul Castro is due to step down as president next year and his goal is to create the conditions for what he terms a prosperous and sustainable socialism. But the economy is in trouble right now. The crisis in Venezuela has forced its major ally to reduce much needed subsidized oil shipments. The one bright spot is tourism which is booming now that the US and Cuba have restored diplomatic relations. U.S. President Donald Trump, though, has threatened to roll back the detente unless there are political reforms. The message from Havana is that the island is not about to make political concessions, even as it continues to open up economically. Michael Voss, CGTN, Havana.